This is Witchbase News for Friday the 19th of January 2024. I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous news this week ...a new guide YouTuber surfaces for Elite Dangerous, Frontier report back to the stock market and a duo of Guardian based community goals promises to drive the narrative forward. You know how this bit goes please like, subscribe and ding that little bell so that YouTube shows you all our content and if you'd like to directly help our work here at the Burr Pit you can also support us through Patreon. Links to that and everything else are in the description below. Two new guide videos for Elite Dangerous have surfaced in the last couple of weeks. One covering the basics of pirating in Elite and the other covering everything you need to know to get started with laser mining in the game. Both guides are from Commander Dituri and are concise, extremely well presented, easy to follow and contain linked ship builds for both disciplines that don't require engineering. They are also chaptered on YouTube so that you can easily skip through the video to the specific bit you're interested in. You'll find Commander Dituri's two latest guides linked below so that you can check them out and while you're there be sure to subscribe so that you catch any future Elite Dangerous guides that are created. As we reported on last weeks show Frontier Developments released their financial interim results to the stock exchange and investors this week. The report as was expected focused mainly on the companies return and refocus on CMS titles going forward for the next 3 years, the downgrade in revenues due to poor performance by Realms of Ruin and Formula 1 Manager 23 and the company restructure to deliver 20% lower operating costs. They also touched on all their current releases during the last half of the financial reporting year taking us up to December 2023. Elite wasn't mentioned in any detail this time around which although disappointing was also not surprising in some ways. The obligation of these financial reports is to help investors see the inner workings on how a company is currently trading showing progress and noting any major updates that have taken place or are coming. They're specifically not designed to report on impending alien attacks or the movements of made up internet spaceships. The company did again reiterate they would continue to quote support and nurture its existing portfolio unquote which is where Elite is now positioned and although this was a slight wording change from their last report the quote support and nurture unquote wording specifically has always been a core ethos of Frontier so it doesn't itself necessarily signify any particular change in regards to Elite Dangerous. Charts included with the report confirm again that Elite is still a steady earner for the company. Of note in the shareholder presentation was phase 1 of the restructuring that has already taken place which was mostly non-development staff. Phase 2 of the company's thinning out is not yet complete and that phase apparently encompasses more of what we would call more traditional development staff that is due to be completed in the next month. Very sadly while we were going to press Tom Cool, one of the key forward facing developers on Elite announced that today is his last day at the company. His tweet goes on to say that his last efforts on Elite Dangerous are helping to create one of the coolest things they have ever done in the game and will apparently see that work in update 18. Suffice to say we are absolutely gutted to see Tom go. He's been nothing short of a bright light for the community and ironically Tom is also incredibly tall. Rini, myself and everyone here at the pit wish you all the good fortune you deserve in your next adventure Tom. It's been a pleasure and we will miss your presence in the community greatly. As we've mentioned the staffing review process is still ongoing at FDEV and that is quite understandably likely at the core of the current radio silence from the community team at the company. It is of course a little frustrating in the meantime for the community to only have financial reports to pick apart looking for any clues on the future for Elite Dangerous. All we can recommend right now is to sit tight, be quietly confident that our game isn't going anywhere while we wait to hear from official channels. As soon as we hear anything we will of course report it right here. With the Thursday Thargs Day tick this week came two new community goals instigated after an announcement from Aegis by Professor Alba Tezro. 
In the announcement Professor Tezro who is the head of Aegis states that bicycle proficiency gold star awardee and 3 times 100m swimming dash bronze medal winner Citizen Ramtar has presented a theory to the Xeno Research and Defence Agency that pertains to the persistent problem of the Thargoid Titan motherships positioned on the fringes of human space. The Titan motherships are the source of the seemingly endless waves of Thargoid assault vessels that have been pounding the southern edge of the bubble for over a year now and, for the moment at least, the Titans appear to be completely immovable. We don't know the precise nature of Citizen Ramtar's presentation to Aegis as, for the moment at least, it has been deemed classified. However, following that presentation Aegis has asked for huge quantities of both Guardian relics and unclassified relics to be shipped to the Limpet and Defence Systems engineering installation in the Mean system. For the uninitiated, Guardian relics specifically are the blue glowing triangular thingies that are ejected after shooting the top of the relic towers that emerge from the ground as you approach their positions at Guardian ruins. Unclassified relics, more commonly referred to in the community as grelics, are tainted by Thargoidy glowingness as a result of inserting Guardian relics into the Thargoid mechanisms at the heart of Thargoid surface installations. The community goal is promising development for prototypes of a potential weapon system upon the goals completion and, as an added incentive, both sides of the community goals, Relic and Grelic, are offering some very smart Guardian themed ship paint jobs to the top 75% of contributors. If you're looking to get involved in the community goal then the exploration tool SRV survey that we featured a couple of weeks back on this very show contains a very handy tool for locating the nearest Guardian site to your location as well as providing maps detailing where the relic towers can be found. That show is linked on screen now if you've not seen it. The appearance of these CGs would seem to indicate that there is something more that can be done about the Titans specifically. What their destruction or at the very least removal would mean for the bubble and the gameplay loops that have been established in the game as a result of the war's arrival we can only speculate on. It's not outside the realms of possibility but it does seem extremely unlikely at least that Frontier would simply destroy the Titans, bring an end to the war and remove all the dev work from the game never to be seen again. We are left wondering then if the Titans were dealt with in some regard how would the established Thargoid back and forth gameplay evolve and just what would it morph into as a result. The community goals run until Thursday next week unless they're topped out before then. Will you be following Commander Dituri's guides? Are you participating in this weeks community goals? And just what do you think Ramtar has planned for the Titans? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>